Okay, today's little education session is about treatment that we do for lower backs. Now, this is for when the stretches that I gave you last week don't work, or they, they work okay, but they're just not getting you the extension you need. And so this is when we have patients that come in and they've lost some of the extension, meaning they've probably been sitting for too long. It's like Claire's been sitting this morning on the computer and she's a bit stiff. So if you go into your extension for me, Claire. So even though she's got good lumbar extension, she, you still feel stiff? Yes. Yeah, she still feels stiffness across the end. Now that's a really common thing to happen. Now sometimes the stretch is sorted out, but with people with injuries or disky problems or they're simply so tight that the stretches aren't, they, they can't get there, they're jamming, then that's when we add in some mobilization for the patient to help get those segments moving into extension so then they can relieve their back pain by doing the stretches and it all works. So what I'm gonna show you today is what we actually do in clinic with the mobilization into extension. We do different things. So if you imagine that person is trying to go into extension. Now, what we're doing as a PA, which is what we call posterior anterior, movement of the spine that way to assist with that movement and it's really, really effective. So if the person's got problems on one side, then I go from one side to the other, meaning if I'm standing on the right and moving on the left. Now, at this point, what we're pushing through is that part of the hand and that gives them a movement pressure into posterior anterior, so into that movement, which helps with the extension, because when they go into extension, that's the direction we want them going. Now, what my job is, is to try and work out how tight that is compared on each level. All right? When we mobilize a level, we mobilize a lot of levels all at once, but you'll find that some are sore than others and some are stiffer than others. And if we focus on the ones that are stiff, we'll find we get better results faster. So that one there, what's that one like, Claire? It's tight, huh? Compared to this one? Yeah, I'm just tired. The lower one's tighter. The lower one's tighter. And that's a pretty common thing. Usually, not not all the time, but usually it's the lower ones, your L5, L4, those ones right before the sacrum. So we try and get right in there, right before that pelvis, and work on those ones. And they're the ones that sometimes it gets to the point where, oh, that's relieving. And they just help stretch out the actual joint tissue. Okay, so the connective tissue that holds all those spinal vertebrae together, but also it helps trigger a little bit of muscle relaxation as well. So when they go backwards, there's not as much guarding going on in the joint and they can extend a bit more. Then the stretch is effective. So that'll be, say, one side. We might do it the other side as well. If we want to do both sides at the same time, so maybe it's something that's straight across. We go, almost like we call it like a butterfly movement, and that is left and right. This is a little bit trickier because you've really got to sort of lock yourself into the bed here. And this one here, you're going in the same level and loading down into that position. Now this will probably feel a little bit different. It's a lot kinder. It's not as direct for something that is one-sided. So this is for something that's even more broad. Um, but it's not as painful. You feel that's not as, not as sore, right? I remember sore, I mean good sore. Um, but you can still get a stretch on there. And this is quite effective in, the far, in a way that you can actually put some pressure down through there and really stretch that lower back into the position you want it. And then, of course, we go up and down different regions. Now, when I want to get really isolated, so say I want to get really isolated on that left-hand side, there's a joint that we really want to go deep on. And this is after perhaps we've massaged it out and loosened up all the QL and the extensors and all the tissues around that are guarding over top of that joint. Once we've done that, and then we can go sort of a little more localized on the transverse process side, which again is really effective for those ones that are perhaps a bit chronic, really stiff and really sort of gungy movements. And then you'll, you'll notice the difference as a practitioner as you go, you go one above and that's like super loosey goosey and you go to the right one on the same time, that's loose. This one is like, Oh, stiff. Now we just got to be careful that we don't go too hard on them. It's got to be relieving all the time. And this is where we try and find all the right angles for this person to do it. And it might be there. We get on the right angle there and find that one that's the stiff one. And then the same movement happens. Now, of course, I've got sort of pretty tight, rigid thumbs. But I'm not actually, this is one for the physios out there, I'm not actually pushing through my thumbs as such. 
I'm pushing through from my foot through the bed and then trying to use that movement through my body to push through the thumbs. So I'm basically locking thumbs through my wrist, through my shoulder, elbow, through my shoulder. So I'm not sort of trying to push with my thumbs. I'm actually just trying to lock all that up and then I just drop my body weight. So I'm actually, if you notice, when I push down, I bend my knees. So I'm actually putting more of my body weight through the movement, which actually makes it a lot, feels a lot kinder on the back. It's not feel as pointy with that. One, I save my thumbs, but two, she actually feels, it will feel better for her than if I try and just get in there and push in there. I'm actually actually using body weight through there and it's a, it just feels better. It's way more effective too, I find. So that sort of movement. Well then, if you go and do that extension again, we'll give her a little bit more freedom through that movement. She's actually going a little bit higher now. You feel okay with that? Now it won't be absolutely perfect just, on just that much, but if we did that for maybe 20 minutes or so, she'll find that she has a lot more movement that way, which then when she goes home, her stretches that we've given her for extension and all those other things are way more effective. And that's how the treatment side of things is going to get this person better way faster. See you next time.